Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Daniel Schiffer. I make videos right here on YouTube all about filmmaking and content creation. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I guarantee you will not regret it. There's a common misconception amongst videographers that a restaurant video has to follow a certain format. And we see it all the time on Instagram and Facebook, where maybe the first shot of the video is the front of the restaurant looking into the window. Maybe you see the sign for the restaurant. And then you go inside, you see some of the decor, you see the chef preparing some food, and then you see someone plating it, delivering it to the table, and then someone eats it, everyone's happy, and that's it. Maybe you haven't seen this exact format, but usually it's something along the lines of this, and that is totally fine, and it is pretty good if that's what the restaurant wants on the front page of their website to showcase what it is they do in their business. Now, my main concern with these types of videos is that they're usually only really effective if somebody's already seeking out that specific restaurant, they find their Instagram, they find their Facebook, or they they find their website and then they see that video to see what it's all about. Now, if your client is a trendy restaurant that wants to get more exposure and attract new customers and they're relying on you to come up with a concept to create better videos and better content to do so, then here is how you're gonna have to shift your mindset from what I just talked about to how you should be formatting these videos so that you can actually do more of them, make more money and also have a happier client. Now, the key to making these videos successful and effective is to forget everything you knew about those other promo videos that showcase the decor and the tables and all the preparing, all the plating and the reaction and all that. We simply wanna dumb it down to just showing one product in the video. What I personally like to do is show step-by-step step how an item on the menu is made and that will be the entire video because at the end you see that finished product and it leaves the viewers hungry and wanting to tag their friends. Now when it comes to Instagram and Facebook, one of the most important factors when it comes to having videos that get a lot of engagement and shareability is the thumbnail. But beyond that, it's going to be those first few shots that you really have to rely on to capture an audience to make them want to watch the rest of the video and then share it with their friends. That being said, when you stumble across a video on the Explore feed and it has the restaurant's name at the beginning and then it shows the tables and stuff on the walls and then you go to another video that starts off with a shot of cheese just oozing onto a plate of nachos. Think to yourself, if you're a potential customer, which one of those videos are you more likely to watch through? The answer is most likely the one with the cheese dripping on the nachos because that just looks way more tempting and plays on a person's senses more than a wall or a table or a window or a sign. The way that you wanna pitch these videos to your client is to tell them that each video is going to be a separate product on their menu and we're gonna show the steps how you make it so that we can tempt the audience and make them wanna share that video up the engagement on the post, and as a result, attract new customers. Now it's pretty obvious why this works out for the client, because now they have a video that is more effective, more shareable, and will get them more attention on their social media. But the reason it's good for you is that now, instead of doing one promo video that shows everything for the restaurant, now you can break it up into maybe 10 videos of different menu items that you can charge separately for each one, or bundle into a package, and as a result, you can make more money. Now you don't have to be a creative genius or the best videographer in the world. All you need is a camera, some sort of wide angle lens. I prefer a 16 millimeter, but you can even get away with a 30 mil and in some cases a 50, but I recommend a wider lens because this will smooth out your handheld shots. Beyond that, I recommend using some sort of way to stabilize your shots. If you don't have a gimbal, you can do this with a camera strap just by having it around your neck and using the tension to stabilize the camera as you're getting those shots. Or you can use a battery grip to add some weight to the camera, give it some more bulk so that it doesn't shake as much when you are getting those motions. The last thing I recommend having in terms of gear is some portable lighting. These are the Aperture Amaran ALM9 portable little LED lights and these things are phenomenal. I keep a blue gel on one and an orange gel on the other and all I do with these is either hide them in the shot where you can't see them or I put them off to the side of the frame to backlight or fill in some of the shadows on the subject and I prefer to have two different colors because this will create some color contrast and make your shots look a little bit more interesting but I definitely recommend having some small portable lights 
to just fill in those shots. It helps big time, especially if the restaurant you're in has poor lighting. When you are shooting, capture as much as possible and don't be afraid to ask the chef or whoever's preparing the food to repeat a step and try it again if you didn't get it cleanly. Trust me, there's no need to be embarrassed if you screw up a shot. Just ask them to take off that piece of lettuce and put it on again until you get it right. It's important to try and keep the video short. I recommend something around 30 seconds and choose a song that is cool and is in line with the restaurant's branding. If you apply all these steps, you'll realize how much easier and how much more effective these types of videos are than those typical restaurant promos that everybody is doing. Because from a marketing standpoint, this is going to be what's most effective for them. And that is what's best for you because that's what's gonna keep the client having you back and putting more money in your pocket. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it or at least found it helpful. If you did, hit it with a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.